We are here back behind the visor from June 10th, Wilmot Raceway, A Main. Look at this gorgeous track. Wilmot Raceway track staff has been doing an amazing job, guys. Keep it up. I know you guys don't get enough love when it's good. You just get the hate when it's bad. So uh, to the whole track crew, keep it up. This is making every night very fun and different each night. The track condition is a little bit different and just makes racing a lot more fun. So just like every other video, we are going to be packing down the line that I think I'm going to want to run for the first few laps. Now, we are starting fifth behind our teammate, Ryan Zelski. We both talked before the race where we're going to run. So I'm just going to kind of let him make the hole and I'll, I'll follow him. Um, but we're starting on the bottom. So I'm just packing the line down, seeing where the edge of the cushion is. Um, so that way, when we can get to the top, I kind of know how far I can drive it in. All right, so we're coming off a two. I know we're gonna run the bottom, so I'm gonna kind of pack down right there. That's where I'm gonna wanna let the car out. Uh, we got Clayton starting first, the black car, orange car, Johnny Fall, teammate in front of me. Tim Cox is on the outside of me and CJ Malik's right there. So we're gonna get the green here and I just clip the berm a little bit. I have to get off the throttle, which sucks. Getting my momentum slowed down. But I'm gonna roll the bottom. Now the cars are set up for the top, but it actually felt pretty good there. It doesn't feel bad, but it doesn't feel great either. It just feels good. So uh, yeah, turn four there, just kind of roll around on the bottom. Just figure out, you know, because when you run the bottom, you have to keep the car pinched down to the bottom because if you don't, you're going to blow. You're just going to go right through the slick and you're going to lose all the momentum. You're going to get everyone past you on both sides top and bottom so just kind of figuring out how fast i can charge into the corner and without without missing the bottom but without slowing down my momentum too so now i'm gonna get here into a race with this orange car for pretty much the first half of the race so coming off the going into one he's good coming off of two i'm better three and four feels like a dead match ish and then he pulls away there so i know i got to get to the top but the camera's actually not picking up that there's a car on the top of me and i can see him right when we get down into the corner so i can't really lane change because if i lane change it's going to open up the slider so if i go to the top he'll have the momentum he'll just turn underneath me so again guys there's a lot of we're not playing checkers here we're playing chess you know we're just trying to trying to hold my position without getting past <laughs> but also trying to be fast here so what I'm trying to do without opening up the sliders I'm really just trying to get leverage on this orange car like he's we're kind of wheel to wheel down the chute so I can't lane change on him because that'd just be a jerk move so once I get leverage, and I feel really good here, he doesn't get to the cushion, and now I got leverage on him, so now I just drive up. Now, if he wants to turn it underneath me and throw a slider, he can. Um, I know with him being up there, it held off the white car that was running the top above me, which was Marshall. And now that I'm clear, I can really just kind of go to work here and just run the top as hard as I can. Car's, you know, still a little bit tight. So I just drive it in harder. It's basically it. When it's tight, just drive it in harder. So coming off the two, there's actually two ruts. There's one that's about a car length from the top, or car width from the top. The other one is where you put the right rear. But if you hit it too soon, you're going to straighten the car out. And here they actually call yellow, but the green light's still on, so I'm going to keep going. But I'm still kind of like, wait. And then I see the that red car pull off. So then I know, okay, there's a yellow. Um, so, all right, cool. So I crack my visor here. Just so I can see around the track. And I don't know why this black car just decided to roost me. And I actually got some clay in the eye. Which hurt. It, <laughs> I think I scratched, it scratched the eyeball too. Because for like a day or two after... It's still it was still a little irritated, so yeah, I just wasn't 
thinking that he was going to gas her up coming off a of two there in the middle. But my fault for having the visor open. So lesson learned, guys. Open your visors under yellow knowing that you could get um, stuff in your eye. All right, so I know Zelski's running the bottom. This white car in front of me is running the bottom. So I'm going to try to sell him a dummy. I'm going to run the bottom, pack my line down here. Because the car in front of him is driving off of the bottom, from the bottom, and leaving both of us. So if he sees me down there as well, I think that'll make him protect the bottom, which will then give me a line on top to run really hard in. So we get the one to go here. And again, for one more time, I don't, I don't even know if he saw me or not, but I was like, okay, I just got to try it because... These two cars are the only two cars to win features at Wilmot so far this year. This black car and the white car. So, you know, work's cut out. So, any little advantage that I can try to make, I'm going to make. So, right here, I'm just really watching the black car. As soon as I see his left tire expand, I go. Get a pretty good run, but I just hit a little hole there. Coming off of four and it just kind of straightened the car out. But, hey, he didn't go to the top here. He went to protect. So, gives me the top again. So I'm gonna charge in there as hard as I can. And I'm waiting for him to come up. And he doesn't come up, so, and I thought he was gonna go to the top there, but he didn't. And now that's gonna give me the run coming off of uh, two here to really bury it in to turn three. So, just focusing on my marks, make sure I don't jump the cushion off of four because it is pretty razor thin. So now that I don't see him, on the bottom now, I'm, I know he's up top. Now, with this black car where he's running, it protects me from the slider, the slide job from, from my teammate. Jumped the cushion a little bit there, waiting for the slider, but really just kind of protected by this black car. Um, I hit the, the inside berm a little bit, and it just upset the car. And doing all this hard work, and... Now I'm going to make the biggest mistake of the night. Just one mistake, but it was pretty big. Driving in here, I didn't pick the throttle up enough, hit the curb, and just let these two guys back. Now I know Marshall's behind me, so i got to drive it in deep just so that it protects me from the slider That if, if he's going to throw it. Uh, but now I'm just kind of got to go back up there even though I messed it. And you can see I drove off of it a little bit, which let Marshall get underneath me so all right so I can't cheat it coming off so I really do have to just hope that I don't do it again um, and actually didn't do it again there so I was okay back to getting confident running the top into um, so just really focusing on my rhythm here my marks there I kind of cheat it just a little bit to try to hit it with the right rear and it kind of worked so now we're coming up on lap traffic here and I was like good now this might close the gap up get next to the black car here and then the yellow comes out because we got two cars spun in turn two now here is when I realized just how much <laughs> I messed up you know when you're racing and you mess up you just got to go back into race mode what are you doing you know, you gotta fix what you what you messed up on. But like under a yellow, or if you don't get a yellow at the checker, that's when you just kind of the realization of your mess up, your your mistake hits you. So just so upset with myself right here. Um, but we got five to go, so there's still a sh there's still a shot, but it's gonna be very hard trying to pass both of these champions um, in front of me. So we get the one to go here. Now Marshall's behind me. I know he's going to go where I'm not. If I go to the bottom, he's going to the top. If I go to the top, he's going to the bottom. The car feels really good up top, so I just have to hope that he doesn't slide me or he doesn't hit his marks perfect because then they'll give me a, a shot down the back chute. So 
we get the green here, I know Clayton, the black car, is going to go down to the bottom. So I charge up top. And kind of just drive off the cushion just a little bit, and Marshall makes me pay for it. And now he goes to the top. I can't slide him because of the black car there. And now I just got to hang on his left rear and try to guess where the cushion's at because obviously I can't see where the cushion's at when you're chasing a car. So there's a little bit of a gap here. So we get the white here. And Zelski, my teammate, jumps the cushion just like I did. So now it's a three-way battle going into turn three and four. And he messes up again. And I was like, maybe I can just pick up the pieces. But now they, again, these are three champions in the series. And he drove it in so hard to get to the line, he spun out. So that made it a little bit better that someone else did trip up in front of me on the cushion. They just didn't do it as bad. But at the same time, it it just it just hurts when you grab the lead like that and then you just jump the cushion. So usually you give my teammate a bump, but he spun out, so I just stick my hand out the right side of the window, give him a thumbs up. But yeah, so that's behind the visor of throwing away a win. Um, so if you guys enjoyed that, please like, subscribe, follow Crane Racing LLC on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram for more content like this. All the likes, subscribes helps out so much, guys. So thank you very much, and I will keep in my part when I get back to the pit.